Hi, this is Bob Scully, and welcome to another edition of The World Show, Entrepreneurs of the Fiera Series. This week, we'll meet a Russian entrepreneur who came all the way over here across the North Pacific to show us what a bazaar could look like and should look like, and who built it here in Toronto, a huge building, magnificent to look at, and quite a spectacular achievement, and we'll hear about that in a few minutes. And now we meet Oleg Schechter, who, as I mentioned at the outset, has built a bazaar. Not something bizarre, a bazaar, much as you'd find it in Central Europe or in the Caucasus or in the Middle East. He knows about these things, and he's called it Improve because it's about home improvement. But we'll let him tell the story. Here he is. Oleg Schechter, uh, our entrepreneurial story, your entrepreneurial story, is going to lead us eventually to the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area. But first, we're going to begin in, in a part of the world that will be quite exotic and exciting for most people watching. It's the Northern Pacific with Alaska, Russia, China. And you got to know all of those places. You were delivering oil on boats. Uh, I'll let you tell the story. Oh, that's a lot of stories. So it's uh, it's my previous business, so I mostly was involved in the petroleum product uh, supply. Mostly it's uh, hot scan bearing seats for the fishing fleet. And uh, I'm supply fuel to uh, to Alaska, to the Ocean Islands, mm -hmm. and particularly to the former military base, like American military base, it's called ADAC. Yeah. And uh, so the... It's no military anymore, so they passed this island to Aleutian Corporation, the government, and then uh, they supply fuel for the needs of the island and for the fishing fleet who actually, some fishing factory in there. And how did you go from boats in the North Pacific Ocean to retail and real estate? The idea I had for a while, like, you know, and then the problem is, like, it's a really missing part. Uh, if you analyze the market situation, like, uh, uh, one of the largest markets is home improvement. And mm -hmm. uh, I would say it's the second largest after the food. First people eating, the second they doing home improvement. And it's not centralized. It's a huge, huge supply. Like, it's so many stores related, so many businesses related to home improvement, mm -hmm. but it's not centralized. And it's a big uh, problem from uh, consumer's point, how to find the right product, how to find the right service, and they always looking around. And the industry is like one of the largest, like everybody, like living in the big houses, everybody, like official number, it's like 63% of population constantly yeah. doing sales in GTA. So it's a huge market and it's not centralized. Plus, I would say it's not new idea from the marketing point. It's one of the oldest idea on the world. Yes, absolutely. It's a marketplace. So it, what can be better? A bazaar, you get the, like the bazaar. Yeah, bazaar. You got the buyers, you got the sellers. Keep them together, give them nice environment. That's what people need. So... And you discovered that uh, renovating and improving your own home. Yes. You suddenly realize yeah, there was no single place. That's the first place, place I didn't went, and it was hard to find, you know, where to find. You need, like, spend so much time, especially, like, lots of immigrants. When they're coming, if they're mm -hmm. coming from the country where this ex idea exists, first, they, when they're buying the house, first they're asking, where is this place? <laughs> so, but to make it in a proper level, it was hard. Like, and it was hard for me to make that, like, two negative reasons. Yeah. Two, two negative points for me, and I can complain. The, the level I would reach now, it's pretty good. But uh, one is negative is uh, when you go on something new in Canada, it's a bit different. Let's say I'm compared to Russian mentality. Yeah. In Russia, all business happened recently. So the oldest probably 20 years in the history. Wow, that's so, so much. Yeah, because it used to be like the Soviet Union, thing. you know, yeah. and then it's become the... Uh, different structure, like, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's become open for the business. So when the people go on the new business, what they doing in Russia now, because it's no history, you, you put a negative point, positive point, then on, you analyze it and you make decision to, yes. to go on that or not. In Canada, all business happened for many years, like, you know, so then it's a main decision point, it's a history. You're checking the history, what's been done in the past, 
related to this idea, you know, mm -hmm. how it works, and then negative point positive, you're making this here. So that's why for me it was hard, like it's no history for the project like that. No, that uh, the... I can, I can tell you similar idea, like b business models, which I use for this project, but it's no history for the project like that. So you know, that it reminded me a little bit of the Merchandise Mart in Chicago, um, which has not always had a, that similar function, but at some point in its history it, it, it has. It's huge, it's beautiful, it's uh, right by the, the river, um, and, and you too have regrouped suppliers um, of, of different things, bath fixtures, kitchen fixtures, etc. And they're competitors technically, but they're not even competing anymore. They're all servicing the consumer, and the consumer is extremely well served because they're all in one place and a handsome place to boot. Well, it's a healthy competition. It's yeah, actually a positive right. competition. So that's, and the, actually, this business model is a healthy competition working in Canada. So people, uh, like, Many places you can you can see the restaurants they stay together. You can mm -hmm. see the car dealerships they stay together. True. And they stay together not because they like each other. They stay together. <laughs> it's create destination point. So it's a healthy That's right, competition. Yeah. So exactly same to get idea. Get the traffic. Yeah. Customer to get traffic. the traffic and the uh, for consumers of course it's better. I will go to the place where I can find like few places mm -hmm. to get the choice. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Some people worry then they when they buying place with us, like you know. But I'm telling you, it's actually positive if you, if you have inside competition. If you will come to the to to our building and there will be two three kitchen places, it's another store. No point to go to to our place. If you will come, you will see like forty kitchen places. Then you'll come. Then you will come. Then you will choose. And and why didn't it exist before? Uh, it's Here, a high, it's a high risk. So I, I would say many people thought about it. But uh, it's a big investment and it's a high risk. So it's like the, the numbers I can tell, like it's $145 million project. Wow. So is, and is that um, what you're selling it for or what it cost you to set it up? That's in sales. Cost much less. So it's a good profit in the deal. And how much capital was required, ballpark? The net capital, like the cost about $80 million. That's a lot of money. Did you did you put that up yourself, or or is it bank money? A well, bank, of course, involved. I would think that the, it's really the the biggest challenge is getting the first people to 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 buy into the idea because once you have, like you say, forty bath or kitchen suppliers together, it's you know once you have thirty of them, it's not hard to get the last ten because everybody wants to be in on it. But the first two or three are always going to ask you, well, why am I going first? Where are the others? What was your answer to that? They're coming. They see me. They, they didn't see he, my history. They didn't see anything like that. And then I should explain why it's good and stuff. Like, and plus, I'm not selling cheap. That's expensive. If you see how much I'm selling, it's probably like for the, they pay for the people pay almost cost of the prime location in downtown. And they're the, buying it like a condo. Yeah. And then they have to furnish it and supply it. Yeah, that's another story. But they they do it showing. But but what did you say to get your first takers, your first customers? It's like forty minutes, <laughs> forty minutes story, like I'm telling them. But did you give out freebies to reel in the first the first uh, buyers? No, it's actually explaining why it's good and explaining the the first one they get better location. Hmm. So okay. I would say money wise, I never go lower certain point. So how many um, owners or labels or tenants actually are, are in there now? I sold everything. So now I'm working like money-wise, I'm good. But so how many people, how many stores? It's 401 unit. I expect wow. about 300 stores. Some people, they buy a few combining together. But from other side, it will be more businesses. Maybe it will be a thousand businesses. My God. More. Because some, some stores so can represent a few different. Like, everybody's in there. Some parts are missing, but I'm working to make it better. So it really is, as you say, a, b a bit of a condo in the sense that you sold them the, the space, they own the space, but you're retaining the management contract afterwards, ensuring future revenue. The management, I will control the management company as much as possible. If we don't like the company, we'll switch to another one, but mm -hmm. it's not the biggest issue. I would say I will try to control, and it's for me, it's not to, to make money, it's for me to make it more successful. Mm -hmm. I'll, I will control the stream of advertising. 
uh, one of the like it's many many points together working like one of the point which everybody like we collect the advertising budget each ah. unit pays like two hundred dollars which okay. not a big amount to uh, for the company up. but when it's coming together it's create million a year advertising money to to advertise improve the brand to advertise the whole thing and the good point is all the publication all the uh, let's say station they know about this budget they know this budget is like maybe not the biggest but it's real and it's guarantee budget and and now that you've done one of these the hard part was convincing the bankers and the buyers the first time around now it should be a lot easier when you go to new jersey or, or wherever to to be honest now i have offers from the like like different mm -hmm. companies like to invest money into the next one and you, or maybe in, into the next few and you may be imitated but you won't care because there's room for everybody yeah no it's enough room it's enough room and maybe one day on a Nevsky Prospect or wherever in Moscow, maybe one day you'll do it there. In Moscow, many places like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. or, or they already have them, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. they, again, it's a bit different structure, but in Moscow, many, many places like that. Well, anyway, in the meantime, enjoy North America. Keep on doing stuff here, Oleg, and, and, and good luck with that. But to be honest, I like to work more in North America yeah, compared to Russia. I think you're Russia. right. <laughs> so stay with us and we'll have fun, Oleg. Spasiba. <laughs> Spasiba. <laughs> Fernand Chabot and Oleg Schechter were our guests this week on Entrepreneurs the Fiera series of The World Show. I'm Bob Scully. Have a great week. Thanks.